Now it's our turn. I am Andrea Schmidt. I am Tamara Batarice. In this week, you will learn about dreams, visions, magic and supernatural beliefs in various religions. In the first three videos, we'll present a story that became fundamental for the belief of Christians in the Near East and in the Caucasus. It is the story of a miraculous portrait of Jesus Christ. Since ancient times, Christians have been curious to find out what Jesus, the Son of God, according to their belief, actually looked like. Did he look like this, like this, or like that, or that, or that one? In fact, nobody really knows what Jesus looked like. The Bible tells us nothing about his physical characteristics, his size, or even his hair, or eye color. But Christian believers weren't content with that and tried to discover the truth through inspiration and other means of revelation. Even in very early times, Aramaic Christians in Syria were curious about Jesus' looks and they were the first to turn this question into a fascinating story. This story circulated for more than a thousand years. It found its way into many other countries in the Near East, from the south in Ethiopia via I Egypt and Byzantium up to the north in the Caucasus. Our story begins in the ancient village of Edessa. Today, Edessa is called Urfa. It is a small town in southern Turkey, near the border with Syria. But in early Christian and medieval times, Edessa, Urfa, was the capital of a wealthy Aramaic kingdom in Syria. Syria Christians of Edessa were proud to speak Aramaic, a language similar to Jesus' mother tongue. Aramaic Christians of Edessa also took pride in a story which belonged to their ancient literature. This story is about Jesus' portrait. It tells us about Abka, the Syrian king of Edessa. He ruled at the time when Jesus was still alive. Abka was very ill. Hearing about the miracles Jesus was performing in Jerusalem, he sent his secretary named Hanan. Hanan, this is a Syriac name for John, carried a letter of invitation to Jesus, requesting him to come to Edessa to cure King Abka and to preach among his people. Jesus received Abka's message with joy, but declined the invitation. He said, that he first had to fulfill his mission of salvation on earth. However, he promised to send after his resurrection the Apostle Adai, who would heal King Abka and convert the people in Edessa to Christian belief. And then our old Zurich story records. When Hanan saw that Jesus spoke thus to him, by virtue of being the king's painter, he took and painted the likeness of Jesus with choice pigments. And he brought it with him to Abgar the king, his master. King Abgar received the portrait of Jesus with joy and placed it with great honor in one of the rooms of his palace. Christians all over the world came to Edessa to venerate the holy image, or what they believed to be the true portrait of Jesus. They believed that it had a healing and protecting power. Now, did this encounter of Abka's messenger with Hanan really happen? Was there really a portrait of the living Jesus sent from Jerusalem to Edessa? The truth is, our story cannot be considered a historical document. Even though it is very old, it is a fictional story, a so-called 
apocryphal text. It only pretends to be from the time of Jesus. Actually, the text was written in the early 4th century. For what purpose then was this fictional story invented? In the 4th century, Christianity was not yet firmly established as a major religion in the Near East. Christians from Edessa had to cope with several rival religions. Our text belongs to Christian propaganda literature. It wanted to declare the superiority of Christianity over other religions in Edessa and it wanted to satisfy the curiosity of Christians about the human appearance of their God, Jesus. Soon, the story of King Abga and Jesus' portrait spread from Edessa to other countries. It was translated into many languages. As always, when information passed on through other languages and cultures, the story undergoes transformations and develops into many variations. In the next video, we'll see just how the story developed.